off the start then, and a great start by Shaky Byrne off pole position, exactly what the home boy needed on the rough end. So this was Kawasaki snatching the advantage from Alex Laws in second place. Josh Brooks bursting through from the second row of the grid. Poor James Ellison having to take a right through penalty for not starting at the back of the grid. That cost him dear. Josh Brooks wasn't hanging about. He nabbed first Alex Laws, and then in that sweet move, Shaky Bird to take the lead for Taiko Suzuki. And then here was Keith Farmer really working hard to get past Alex Laws, surprising the young Lincolnshireman. Uh, the iron, the, the, the clogger bullet getting the better of him. And look at this. Alex Laws squeezes back under Blue McLaren and that retakes that third place. Meantime, at the front, we've got Shaky Bird fading to the left, moving to the right, surprising Josh Brooks down Paddock Hill Bend and retaking the lead for Rapid Solicitors Kawasaki. Alex Lowe just behind the two of them, and Alex decides that he needs to make a move underneath the former Australian champion. Josh Brooks takes a glance across and gives him plenty of room as they drop down Paddock Hill Bend. And Alex Laws is now in pursuit of the leader. Meantime, Keith Farmer is getting involved in fisticuffs with the Baytham's Honda number 46, Tommy Bridewell. Right behind him, the tall figure of Derbyshireman, uh, BMW Motorrad's new boy. Look at this, how close did he get to Keith Farmer as John Carkham just squeezes through. Uh, some great racing going on between some of the newcomers and some of the more established. And oh! Wow, wait! And that was the moment at which uh, Keith Farmer seen him. Keith Farmer seemed to clip Dan Linfoot. Linfoot went down and collected the unfortunate James Westmoreland. So uh, a really nasty accident. We think that there's a possible leg injury to Dan Linfoot. They've both gone to the medical centre, but thankfully both of those uh, uh, very, very fine new men are OK. Meanwhile, Shaky Byrne, the 36-year-old in his 220th British Superbike race, takes his 40-second race win, just one behind Kianari now.